this key runs definitely one that I know a lot of people do a lot of people talk about it in the community but a lot of people also don't know about it and they probably don't want me talking about it they always tell me to shut my mouth a lot of these comments I don't even read anymore because all of them are you guys bitching about me get blowing up a spot or how oh man I remember when there's t content creators weren't telling everyone about these spots it's so sad deal with it Jonathan remember when you were a little punk ass stoolie too Jonathan and then someone told you about these spots and now you're pretending like you invented them I hate you Jonathan I hate you So this is probably one of the best runs you can do as a scav if you're key hunting and generally keys just make you a lot of money to be honest and this is something that not many people check because we're about to go somewhere where not a lot of people like to stay for a long period of time at least not you know I'd say most players in Tarkov so if you're a scav most of the time these little jackets aren't really getting hit because everyone's trying to get in and out so yes the place we're going to is the old beloved dorms <laughs> right everyone tries to go in and out as fast as possible hit marked room or do a task they don't really just hang out and, and hit all the jackets that are in here and there's just so many of them so if you scav into customs this is an amazing run you should add to your you know your little loot repertoire i would say on customs it's fantastic and let me show you how I do it and of course in the top right we're going to have our usual jacket counter because I think there's going to be way more than you think so we're starting off with 101 and there's two in here so just to let you know some of these rooms have two jackets but like as you can see you have to hit this one and then you just have to kind of you know sneak it right here okay so what I do is I hit this one then we go diagonal we got another one and then we've got two more diagonal from that in here and again see you have to do this and then you just have to sneak the little side piece there uh there are two more down here in the elbow but we do need a key for it if you want to know it's 118 so right here it's 118 if you get the key for it super cheap and uh yeah there's two more jackets in there we're not going to count those on the on the jacket counter though let's just say that so we're on second floor and we're going to go straight to elbow there's two jackets just just on the floor just chilling on the floor and again room 220 it is a task key but it's super cheap right now and there's one more in here but again it's locked so if you are a scav of course you don't have chances of hitting those but just letting you know now these are ones that are very unique so this one always has the machinery key in it right the brown coat always has the machinery key and I don't think it can spawn other keys with it so I think it's like a dud coat I as far as I know every time I've looted this coat I've only seen machinery I've never seen machinery in something else but maybe I'm wrong maybe I'm just having bad luck but at least there is this one other coat here so we're just going to count this one other coat and then on this wall there's two more boom boom upstairs we've got two more coats right near marked room so we've got marked room so if you're hitting that you might as well if you have a if you have time at least hit two more coats up here oh, little y'all yonka for a snack and then right at the opposite side right at the end are another two coats okay so if you think that like that's a good amount of coats just being in open doors but actually we've got more So we're going to head over to two story now to continue the coat fiesta I would say I don't like there's just so many coats here I'm telling you right now there's so many coats so there's two more here 
with a duffel bag. And then there is a weapons case here if you want to know about that. Upstairs, we've got another. Wait, it's over here. Sorry. We've got another two. And then across for the hall from that in the bathroom. Two more. And guess what? Another two. <laughs> and then if you want to, just to let you guys know, you can hit these filing cabinets. And I think, you know what? I think filing cabinets are worth it right now. So many of those little items that you find in there are worth more than you think. They're just so good. So 22 jackets. That's a crap ton of chances of getting some badass keys as just a scav. And if you want to spice it up, if you're doing these as player, uh, as a PMC, sorry, like I do a lot of times, you can add dorm room 104, which is in the two story dorms. Uh, you can add then 118, which is three story and then 220. And you can add five more jackets to that. They are locked rooms that have uh, two, two and one. So you can have a total of 27 jackets if you carry those keys on there. But what I'm going to tell you is if you're doing these runs as a player, say you, you know, you're a beast and in dorms, you clear it out, you get all this time. There's one extra spicy little thing you can add that is safes. Between three story and two story, there's five safes you can also hit. There are, they're in five different locked rooms, but there's five safes on top of the 27 jackets you can hit or 22 say if you don't want to carry those keys, which I get. So they are uh, dorms room 105, dorm 110 and 114. Just to let you know, those are all in two story and then 204 and 214. Those are in three story on the second floor. And le let me show you this little run you can add to it. OK, it's let me just show you. I'm going to show you why, because I have a little trick to one piece of this puzzle. OK, I'm just going to show you a little trick. OK, so I know you guys probably already know where the uh, two safes are in three story. But in case you don't, I'm just going to quickly show you and then I'm going to show you the trick to the two story safes. OK, so here we have uh, 214 right here. So that's one safe. And then just down the hall, you have to jump this barrier and then to the right, right there is 204. But th you know what? That's not what I really wanted to show you. I want to show you two story and, and the trick to getting to 105. So if you guys don't know, uh, 105 has to be hit from this side over here. So the right side, you can't go to the right side through the front door, right? So you can't get there. You have to go through the outside door to get into here and you're kind of trapped. Like, let's not lie. Unless you go into one of the rooms then you can hide, but uh, there's only one way in and out or is there, I'm going to show you a cool little trick. Okay. So it's just so like, because when you're hitting all this stuff, you're making a lot of noise. And then, so what you do probably is this, right? You're going to hit, you know, the jackets, then you're going to hit the two safe rooms. So if you guys don't know, this is 110, this is 114. You hit these two, these both have safes in them. And then you might go upstairs and you hit stuff and then you're like, oh crap, I want to hit the last safe, but I have to go outside and around kind of dangerous, right? So here's what I do. So you go upstairs, you hit the jackets and, and you know, whatever else you want. And then you're going to come up to this, this little bathroom here, right? Now be careful because people can be coming through and they might hear you, but you're going to jump on the ledge and crouch. And then you're going to push yourself off this ledge. But while you're following, you're falling, you're going to press back. Okay. So you're going to press forward. And then once you fall, you're going to press back and you just catch yourself in this ledge right here. So now you are on the other side of the fence and you didn't ha even have to go outside. It's a neat little trick that not many people know about. And uh, you know what? It, it's probably going to save your life. So 105 is right here. Also, just to let you know, uh, this has a safe in it. And like I was saying, 104 does have if you have 104 too for the jackets, the extra jackets, that's right here. But this is another safe room. So while do it. So if you're a PMC, and you're doing these uh, these jacket runs. Why not keep these safes too on top of it? Like it's just money on top. It's it's crazy. I really like these runs for newer players, especially because customs is the first map that I'm always going to tell you to learn. 
It it has the first few quests on it. It's the most balanced map, I think. You know, this we can get into our argument in the comment section, but I think Customs is the most balanced map. It's just fantastic. Even though there are juicers that play this map, we're not saying it's, you know, it doesn't, it's not the map with the, the least amount of juicers. I'm saying the map itself just feels the most balanced, I I feel like. So you're already learning this map. Maybe you don't want to go into dorms ever because it's so scary. Maybe this is the sign for you to, hey, you know, go get your feet wet. Go dip your your little toesy woesies in the in the the water and just do maybe one jacket run. It's definitely not safe. I'm going to tell you that even as a scav, there are a lot of other scavs around there uh, that will kill you on site for sure. But like, just try it out. This is a veteran scav run for sure that, you know, veteran scavs use all the time that you can make a lot of money doing this, especially early white because you're finding those quest keys or those big uh, keys that everyone wants. So try it out. And thank you again just for watching the video. It does mean a lot to me. So I'm making a ton of content on YouTube. So if you're enjoying it, you know, subscribe to the channel. It's free for you guys, but it does mean the world to me. Also, I do stream five days a week on twitch.tv. Come by, say hello. Tell me how you how these runs are going for you. I'd love to know. And you know what? Until next time, I'll just talk to everyone later.